All praise is due to Allah, and may the peace and blessings of Allah be on His noble Prophet and Messenger, Muhammad. So you like what you learned about Islam? You've come to realize that there is none worthy of worship except Allah, and that He is to be worshipped alone with no partners. You understand that Allah will not leave us in the dark without showing us how to live. Well, this video has been put together especially for you. You've not come across this video by chance. In fact, you were guided here by your Creator, Allah. You've probably been praying for guidance, and so Allah is answering your prayer, and inshallah, you are now ready to become a Muslim. So how does it work exactly? Actually, it's very simple. There's no baptism, no odd rituals or fancy ceremonies. To become a Muslim, all you have to do is declare your faith in Islam. That's it. Easy, right? This declaration of faith is called the Shahada, and is the first pillar of Islam. All of the beliefs in Islam are encapsulated in these two statements that make up your shahada. I'll say it first in English and then in Arabic. I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his slave and messenger. Now in Arabic. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. Now don't worry, I'll repeat that at the end of the video. But first, I want to explain what the Shahada means. When you say, La ilaha illallah, you're saying, literally, that there is no God except Allah. But the word for a God in Arabic is ilah, which means something that is deserving of worship. So ultimately, what you're saying is that there is none worthy of worship, except the one who is worthy of worship. Allah, God, the creator of the heavens and the earth. When you say Muhammadan Abduhu wa Rasulu, you achieve two things. That Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, is the slave of Allah, the worshipper of Allah, the messenger of Allah. Why is this important? Well, in the past, some of Allah's prophets were wrongly deified, worshipped alongside of, or in place of Allah. So this statement reinforces that worship is only for Allah. Second, by testifying that Muhammad Peace and blessings be upon him. He's the messenger of Allah. You're also accepting the message that he was given, the Quran, as well as the things he taught and the examples he set for us. You accept the articles of faith, the thing every Muslim believes in, belief in Allah, belief in the angels, his books, his messengers, judgment day and predestination. You also accept the five pillars of Islam, the actions of a Muslim, which are the Shahada, which we've been discussing. Salah, the daily prayers. Zakat, annual charity. Psalm, fasting during the month of Ramadan. And Hajj, the pilgrimage to Mecca that every Muslim must make once in their lifetime if they can afford it. Now that you fully understand what it means to be a Muslim, you're ready to take your shahada. Even though it's not an absolute requirement, it's best to have at least two witnesses for your shahada, since this is meant to be a public declaration of your faith. Now I know that some people might not have close Muslim friends or how to get in touch with their local mosque. Well I can help you with those two things. I have another idea that will be really cool inshallah. Since you're here on YouTube, I want you to record your shahada and upload it to YouTube. This way you'll definitely have more than two witnesses and inshallah you'll get a nice warm welcome from the YouTube Muslim community. This invitation goes out to anyone watching this video. Even if you're already Muslim, I encourage you to make a video and recite the Shahada and post a link back to this video in your description adding response to and the link. There is a blessing for you every time you repeat those words and inshallah having everyone participate may give our non-Muslim brothers and sisters the courage to take their Shahada as well. If Allah was to wipe clean every single sin that you ever committed in your life in exchange for a sincere Shahada, would that be an excellent deal? Well. Allah makes you an even better deal. Not only does He wipe all the sins that you ever committed in your life, but He takes those sins, transforms them into rewards, and gives them back to you. So, not only do you start your life from that moment without sin, but you start your life way in front with all those rewards you've just been given. Now is that an awesome deal or what? Well, there's still more. Do you want to know what the last person to make into paradise gets? Well, before I tell you what he gets, let me explain who he is. The last person to make it into paradise is a person who hasn't done any good in his life except declare his faith in Islam 
the Shahada until he was sent to hellfire to atone for his unrepented sins. So what would be a fair reward for this person? Well, let's say that person is you. Would you be happy with a mansion in paradise? What about a city? Will that make you happy? How about a whole state for yourself? A country? How about the entire earth? Surely that has to satisfy the greediest of us. Well, Allah promised them that the last person to make it into paradise will have 10 times this earth and everything in it in size. All that for a sincere declaration of faith. That was the reward for the last person in level 1. And there are 99 levels in paradise. Level 1 is like the size of a ring that you wear on your finger. And level 2, the size of a desert. How big is that ring compared to the desert? And level 2 is also a ring. And level 3 is desert. And so on. So if level 1 gets 10 times this earth and everything in it in size, what does level 2 get? Let alone the higher levels. So whether you're a Muslim, a non-Muslim, a new Muslim or a semi-Muslim, let's all take the Shahada right now. And inshallah, if you're able to, record a video of yourself reciting the Shahada and upload it to YouTube. And don't forget to add a link back to this video. Okay, are you ready? I bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except Allah. And I bear witness that Muhammad is his slave and messenger. Now, in Arabic, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh. MashaAllah, if you just took your shahada, you are now official Muslim. All of your past sins are not only forgiven, but they are converted into rewards. You are as free of sin as a newborn child. Because you are in such a pure state right now, it is the best time for you to make lots of dua, a personal prayer or supplication. You can ask Allah to help you along this path and to continue to guide you and guide your family. And also, if you could please pray for me and for my family. SubhanAllah, Allah has seriously blessed you by guiding you to this way of life that He created for you. The first few days can be a little overwhelming. So I highly recommend that you visit newmuslimacademy.org and sign up for free. The link is in the description below. New Muslim Academy has been created for new Muslims just like you and helps guide you step by step to make the whole experience easy. Just watch the video in the description below for Andrew's story and see how New Muslim Academy has helped him. If you didn't upload a video, that's fine. Just let me know anyway. You can contact me through YouTube or through allahsword.com I'll be happy to help you in any way I can inshallah. If you didn't take your shahada with us, I urge you to visit allahsword.com and seriously look into Islam and to consider coming back to this video in the near future inshallah to put aside your obstacles and enter into Islam. After all, there's a reason you're here watching this. The invitation is always open. If you have any questions or wish to chat live to one of our specialists, visit the chat link in the description below. Thanks for watching. And to all my new brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May the peace and blessings of Allah be upon you. حبيبتان إلا الرحمن خفيفتان على اللسان ثقيلتان في الميزان سبحان الله وبحمد Viva